Guys, today is January 27, 2017. This is Maddie with your Charger Nation News. Today is National Chocolate Cake Day. Did you know that it is believed that the first chocolate cake recipe was discovered in 1764? Coincidentally, science says chocolate actually makes us happier. On Monday, January 23, 2017, student ambassadors, cheer team, and dance team joined South Haven Intermediate School for their Great Kindness Pep Rally. Students gather together and learn what it really means to be kind and care for one another. Did you know that the positive effects of kindness are experienced in the brain of everyone who witnessed the act, improving their mood and making them significantly more likely to return the favor? On Wednesday, January 25th, Big Fish held auditions in the auditorium after school and it was a big hit. I'm sending it over to CNTV reporter Austin Hahn for more information on what's really going on over there. Hey, this is Austin at this year's musical audition for Big Fish. As you can see, there are a multitude of eager students preparing for auditions. As you can see, most of the students are grouping up with one another to calm their nerves before their auditions, which might help to boost confidence for a better audition. Best of luck to all those who auditioned. Thanks, Austin. Don't forget to attend this year's spring musical, Big Fish. Mississippi All-State Honors Choir held auditions against choir students from across the state. We want to congratulate our SHS Honors Choir students who were selected. Nyla Thomas, Ray Payne, Evan Maxwell, Jordan Sledge, Tredarius Terry, Ontarius Woodland, Rachel Wisdom, Mary Detweiler, Danielle Jones, Karina Robertson, and Zaya White. Great job, guys and girls. Now I'm sending it over to Austin with your Charger Nation Sports. Thanks, Maddie. This is Austin with the Charger Nation Sports. Our girls choir did an amazing job as they led the national anthem before the game on the 20th. After the national anthem, it was game on. Our basketball teams played Olive Branch in a heated matchup game with back and forth scores. Our girls were defeated with a score of 68 to 55. Our boys team lost their game with a score of 76 to 63. On January 23rd, our girls and boys basketball teams traveled to Olive Branch High School to play. Our girls lost with a score of 55 to 45, while our boys team lost to their game with a score of 60 to 53. Better luck to our Chargers in tonight's game against Horn Lake at home. Our girls at 6, our boys at 7.30. Meanwhile, in soccer, our boys were in action on the 20th, and that game ended with a score of 2 to 2. Their season had ended with an overall record of 6 and 6. On the girls' side, our team made it to the first round of the playoffs this past Tuesday. They, were tra they traveled to Tupelo for their first round game. SHS was defeated with a score of 3-1. to one. This ended the girls' season with an overall record of 9 wins, 3 losses. Congratulations to both teams for a hard-fought season. This has been Austin with your Charger Nation Sports. Nata Shamia with your weekend weather forecast. Thanks, Austin. This is Shamia with your weekend weather. This Friday starts out pretty chilly with a high of 48 and a low of 32. Saturday with the high of 48 and a low of 33. Ending off Sunday with the high of 49 and a low of 32. Be sure to bundle up. Have a great weekend. Walking down the hallway, I noticed a lot of things that were interesting at South Haven High School. And the first thing that caught my attention were the quotes. And that's when I had an epiphany and asked myself, do South Haven Chargers really pay attention or do they just walk by? Hello Chargers, this is our Nisha and today I have with me is Brandon Eccles and the game we're gonna play is called Walking By or Paying Attention. How the game is gonna go, I'm gonna tell you the quote and you give me the exact year. Here it goes. Quote number one, knowledge speaks but wisdom listen. Is it A, 2007, B, 2011, C, 2014, or D, 2020? B, 2011. Okay. The next quote is, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Is it A, 2009, 
B, 2017, C, 2015, or D, 2013? A, 2009. All right. In the first part, you have right. In the second part, you have correct. So you will be getting a prize at the end of this week. Thank you. Here and today I have with me is Rashawn. And the game we are going to play today is called Paying Attention on Walking By. And how the game goes is that I'm going to tell you the quote, and you have to find out the exact year for it. And if you get it wrong, you still get a prize. But if you don't, then by the end of this week, you can get as many treats as you want. So here to go with the first question. Knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. What year was this made? Was it A, 2007, B, 2011, C, 2020, or D, 2019? B. B. Okay. And the second quote is, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Is it A, 2009? B, 2017, C, 2015, or D, 